Hi guys, David here. In today's video, we're going to make a little woodland creature. This one is a bit like a unicorn in my imagination. And this is a really simple project that you can do at home with very limited tools. And you can do it with your kids, which is going to be great fun. All you need is a couple of sticks and some very basic tools. So let's get into it. So to make this little woodland creature, we're going to need a selection of sticks of all different sizes. You're going to need a drill and various drill bits, a hammer, a saw, some glue, tape measure, well, doesn't really matter, and a pencil. So now I need to choose the sticks that I'm going to use for this little animal. Um, I see here I've got a bunch of nice straight, quite small stuff which could be nice for legs. So maybe this and these legs looks a bit skinny. Maybe something like this. This would be better with this, but I don't want a huge animal, I want a little animal. So I think I'm going to take a piece out of this stick for the animal's torso. So let's cut that out to begin with. So now I'm just going to eyeball the size that I want for this animal. There you have it, that's his torso. Now I want to choose him a head. Uh, maybe a piece of this. Maybe this piece. Oh, this is nice. Can actually make it like some kind of unicorny thing using this. So I'm going to cut here and here and get a head out of this piece. Okay, so now, if that's his body and that's his head, I need a neck. Okay, so I like the thickness of this piece around here for his neck. So I'm just gonna cut out a little piece. So here's the little piece I decided would be my neck. I'm gonna give him quite a long neck. Now I just wanna see what diameter this is so I can drill a hole. So this is 10 mil. Yeah. So I'm going to drill a 10 mil hole. So now I want to have a look what sort of angle I want to put his neck. So his head and his neck and everything all come together nicely. Something like this. Okay, so I'm going to put the neck in here. So I just want to measure what diameter hole I need to drill here. So just check with a caliber. If you don't have a caliber, just use a tape measure. This is about 9, 10 mil. So I'm actually going to drill 9. I don't want the neck straight up in the air. I want to give him a little bit of a, an angle like this forwards. So I'm just going to start straight and then tilt my drill like this. And go in about a centimeter and a half, something like that. And well, cut a little bit of this bark off and this will fit nicely in here. this that looks great now I want the head to sit on here okay so now we've got his body a neck a head we need some legs so this is the same stuff as I took the neck out of which looks quite nice for the legs as well I think something like this and about this tall, whatever this may be, looks proportional. So I'm going to cut now four legs this length. Okay, so here he is. Now we need to put the legs on. Now I think the legs should have a little bit of an angle, something like this. So I'm going to flip him over. And keeping the head and the neck in place helps me know where to drill my holes for the legs relatively. And I'll just check the size of these. I can always whittle them down with a knife. Yeah, I'm going to continue drilling nine. I'm going to put in 
a leg as I go to see how they all look relative to one another. There we are. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Very nice. Now I can see where do I want to put the other leg. So maybe I'm going to give him a little bit of a walking pose. Something like this. I'll just whittle the end of this one as well. So now I'm looking at this leg and I want this leg also in the backward position in about the same kind of a line. Look how is that? Yeah, looks like he's going somewhere. So now we're going to drill the second fourth and final leg and I'll just whittle this down to size make a little place for his tail see how that fits okay a bit of glue that'll be fine in there okay so now I'm just gonna dismantle him give him a light sanding and put some glue and put him all back together glued up okay so I'm just gonna break these corners a little bit with some rough sandpaper, this is 80. Okay, so just put a bit of glue here, a bit of wood glue, and now I'm going to put the legs in. So, to glue the legs on, I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the hole, which if we're doing carpentry we can actually call it a mortise now, it's not just a hole. And the leg has got a tenon on the end, in the loosest possible terms. So we have a mortise and tenon for the legs. And now I'm just going to knock the leg in like this and clean off the glue with a damp cloth. Like that. Because once the glue's dry, it's very difficult to clean it off. There we are. Now the next leg. I chose the biggest legs for the back legs. This is the back. front legs Just pop the head on. I like that. Now we'll just deal with his tail. There we are. This perhaps a bit long, is it? There we are. If you have a little bit of a problem that he's not standing up level, it means we need to take a little bit off these two legs. You see these are down on the floor. This one's up in the air a bit. So I can just take a little bit off this leg. You can sand away at it, you can rasp it. 
You can also leave it with one leg up in the air, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Still, we've got one leg up in the air a little bit. I need to take a bit more off this one or off this one. All four legs on the floor. And our little woodland creature is ready. All right, guys. So there we go. Here's your little woodland creature. I've finished him with a bit of um, linseed oil. Uh, there's a video of mine about how to make your own Danish oil if you want. I'll put you a link up here. So that's it. That's the little fella finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.